What's up guys? We are back with the 2017 Jeep Wrangler uh, JK. Um, today we're going to be swapping out the grill for something a little bit more aggressive. And let me show you what we're working with. So we are going to be swapping out the grill with this bad boy from Oxmart. Uh, definitely a lot more aggressive and awesome. Uh, so yeah, we're going to go through the whole installation process removing the grill and I'm assuming we're gonna transfer some brackets for the turn signals and then mount it back. All right, so what you're gonna to do to remove the grill is remove these uh, little push pins. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that should allow the grill to flex forward. Um, keep in mind when you do pull that forward, uh, your turn signals are still connected. So don't go ahead and yank off the grill just yet. All right, one more thing before you go yanking this off. There are also four clips on the bottom of this grill that you're gonna have to take a flathead and wiggle out. Once that comes loose, you can again just wiggle this part off. But keep in mind, your turn signals are still attached. So these are the clips I was talking about. You just wanna slip a flathead right in between uh, your clip and the this bar here and then wiggle it out and like I said these are your turn signals which we're gonna have to transfer but they are still hooked up on both sides so just keep that in mind and don't go yanking your grill right out all right so to disconnect your bulbs you're just gonna have to turn to the left counterclockwise and the bulbs should pop out I'm just gonna put them on the side for now you don't need to touch those or any of the wiring we're gonna flip the grill around and we're gonna need to transfer over this piece onto our new grill so basically, I think it's just removing this metal piece and sliding this little cup out. And we're gonna end up mounting it right here as it goes right in the old grill. So it should be pretty much plug and play. So I moved into the garage where there's a lot more light. And just to let you guys know, you do not need to remove this metal clip at all. Basically, it's just this thing here, which is held on by tension. You just push that little tab in on both sides and out comes your reflector. So you can do that on both sides and then I'll meet you back at the new, uh, new bumper. All right, so I have our new grill here and as you can see, it's already got the pre-cut holes. So basically you're just gonna take your turn signal reflector and pop it right in. All right, so I got the turn signal reflectors in, and I just want to note that um, Oxmart does give you brand new clips and brand new, um, what are these called? Like the quick release clips that held the, the top in. Uh, so you do get a new set of those in case you do crack them, which is cool. So thank you, Oxmart. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm just gonna take these clips and throw them right onto um, the new grill. And it's literally that easy, just slide them right on. There's like no up or down. Just literally throw them on, make sure they're in the middle in between those two dividers. Cause this is what's gonna hold your bumper to the car. Or, I'm sorry, this is what's gonna hold your grill to the car. All right, so now that you got all of your clips in place, let's go ahead and throw it back on the car. Okay, so now that we're here back in the front of the Jeep, uh, we're gonna plug our bulbs back into our housing and then align the bottom clips and then basically just push it right back on. And once you have that done, you're gonna take your clips that you took out before and then basically just replace them back in their original spots. Okay, so the last thing to do to complete your installation, uh, they give you this little rubber piece. I'm assuming it either uh, stops wind from going in and creating like a whistling sound or it protects from any water or rain that may go into your engine bay. 
Um, so basically it comes with 3M adhesive and it goes right on top. So I'm gonna go ahead, just line this up real quick by eye. And then pull off the adhesive here. So as you just saw, I closed it and it was like sticking out a little bit. So I'm gonna remove it and I just put it on the inside of the, uh, the grill. Hopefully so that it will still do its job but it won't look so tacky. Yeah, that looks a lot better. All right, so there you have it. Uh, this awesome grill from Oxmart. Uh, Thank you guys for sending it out to us. It makes the Jeep look so aggressive and badass. A pretty simple install. I hope you guys found it easy to follow. If you have any questions, hit me down in the comment section below and I'll definitely try to help you guys out. Uh, I will leave the part number to the grill in the description below also so you guys can check that out if you want it. Um, definitely check out my last video where we installed that 52 inch light bar. Uh, and I'll also post up the link where the full install is. We ended up having a little issue going from a 50 to a 52, but we got that thing sorted out. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video again. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. See ya!